Hello, this is Jeff Rall again from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston. And it's the second video too, uh, over going over like Infinity Office software, going over volume co computations or calculations using surfaces. Uh, once again, um, we're going to go over some data. Um, the previous video, we went over the three different ways to compute surface computations for volumes. And in this case, we're going to show you how to create a surface. We can remove a point from that surface. Um, we're going to set a line with the boundary to make sure that we surround the area and include the points that we desire. And then we'll set this wall as a break line. And, um, and here's a picture here of the wall and the dirt man that we want to compute. And here's our control point is raised a little bit on our monument, so we'll take that out. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to go to our Infinity project. And um, what we'll do right now is this is the previous project we had before. Under archives, we have reports, and that shows all the reports that we generated previously. Okay, we zoom in, in and out. Um, we have lines and areas. So we're training a client. So we open that up. We have a back of curve one and two, and these were lines that we uh, were training in the field just to create to show line work, and that shows up in Infinity. And then down here is the mound of of uh, shots that we took on the dirt pile. I got a boundary line, a break line, but I got those unchecked. Uh, I'm going to unhide those. I'll show you how to create them from scratch, but I don't want them included when I create my surface. So what we do now is we deleted the surfaces um, from the previous one. So I click on the surface. I'm going to go down to 2.5D, click on that hard. It'll create a subdirectory called surfaces. And there's a new one called new surface one. It's not the best name right now, but it's good enough for now. We're going to zoom in. And show you the first way to add these points to the surface. So go under inspector, and these are points that I collected in a local uh, zero zero system coordinate system. And see the points one thousand in the thousand range. These are the points I collected with RTK at the base of the mound of dirt, and the points two thousand were the topo for the whole stockpile. Okay, so it's important to use proper uh, naming nomenclature. What I'll do right now is I will go in on the new surface number one, and this is the first way to define these points. So I'll hit shift, and it's gonna, I'm gonna draw a box graphically around the points I wanna add to that surface. So it'll be the stockpile, they're all highlighted. I'll click under surfaces, and then add, then I'll add to new surface number one, and all those points are now added. I can click on that surface name, it's highlighted. I wanna rename that something that makes a little bit more sense. So we'll call that stockpile, uh, June 24th, 24. Then we'll come down here and hit the apply button. It's behind the speaker there. And that will apply those changes under surfaces. Okay. I uh, will hit the T 3D viewer. We'll zoom in. And now without the break line, see how there's um, some triangles that are not actually correct. When we put the, the break line in, it'll smooth out that wall and make it more realistic. We'll go back to the 2D viewer. Okay. And there's that. Uh, surface right there. Now I'm going to create another surface for the base. And that allows us to do a surface to surface comparison. And we'll show you another way to create. So we hit 2D, 2.5D, and I'll create a just add one to the name. So once again, we're going to rename that later on. I'll go to inspector, and once again, all the points here 1000 through 1015, these are the points I that I collected with RTK. And I can right click and we can. Then select all those points graphically, I mean, from the inspector, add to surface, stockpile 6.425. Hit OK. And that second surface is created. I'm going to hide that, go over to property grid and rename it, because that's actually the base. Okay, so just added one to the name. Now it makes sense. We've got a base. We'll hit the apply button. And we have the base and the stockpile. And that, that's what we're going to use to do our uh, surface to surface. I can come up and I'll hit contour and I'll change that contour interval to half a foot because it's not a big mound. We'll hit apply and then that will contour. So if we go back in and graphically look, uh, we've got contours on there and we'll go to 3D viewer and um, we now take a look at that surface and we can turn our surfaces off and on. Okay. And it's going to show us all those points. And right now I got CP7, that's the control point. I want to remove that. So I don't want that to affect my surface and go to inspector. 
and go to search, type in CP7. That's our control point, our monument. I can now hide that point, right click. C says remove from stockpile, and that removes that point uh, from my surface. Okay. Now we're going to add uh, the lines back in. So I come in here, the boundary line and the break line wall will now appear graphically. Okay. And um, so if we zoom in, I'm going to show you, um, there they are right there. I can click on, on, on that boundary line. It'll highlight it. Okay. And that the name is boundary. So I'll just press the right line. Turns yellow or orange. I'll right click for the boundary. And then I can say, right, add to surface as an exclusion or a boundary. I want to do that as a boundary. So all the points within that line in the stockpile will select that surface will now be used for that surface. And that's how you select a boundary or an exclusion zone. You can exclude two points as well if you want to invert that. Now what we want to do is do the break lines, that wall that we shot in, we surveyed it in. So if I highlight that break, break, break line wall, once again, it turns orange, I'll right click, I can say add to surface as a break line to stockpile. We'll hit OK, and that's now a break line. Okay, so those points are, those lines are in there. Let me give an example of how I created them. Just real fast, I can just right click, hit new line, and I can pick, pick the points. So let's say this is the boundary. We're going to use just a few points just to keep it simple. And I'll just click back at right click and hit end, and that will close. And that will then create that closed surface or line. So what I can do now is once again, that's selectable. I can make that a boundary, make it a break line, whatever you wanted. I just want to show you how to create that line. It added one to it, it's called a boundary two. I really want to delete that. I just want to show you how I created those lines and just for time, how to quickly do it. But I went around, took my time to do the break lines on the discrete points and the boundary. So let's delete that just to show you how, how we created those in infinity. Once again, we'll zoom back out. Uh, let's take a look. We'll minimize that, go back to our surfaces. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just turn the eye off the base. That way we're just looking at the stockpile. And now it should be a lot cleaner now. We've got that break line in there that defines that wall. You see how much cleaner it is? And the triangles are a lot more accurate. Once again, it's a pretty small dirt mound. But I just want to show you how you can add a break line, the contours. And now we've got surfaces. And we've got those two surfaces now. We have the base and the stockpile. And we can now go in there and do a surface to surface comparison. So just go up there, surface to surface, say, right, the first surface is the base. This one's going to be named as something that made sense. The second one is stockpile, got the date there. Scroll down here behind the microphone, hit calculate. And once again, there's our difference, that's 2338. There's our report. Hit the report, we can save that. And once again, there's our volume. Um, in cubic feet. I want to change the units. I can hit file, go down to info settings, and under points or units. Under volumes, I'll change from US feet or be metric. Set that to metric. I make decimal places, go back to the home screen. And once again, that's now a metric. So I can export that, re export the, the report sheet if you want feet or meters. Um, so once again, we'll go back in. There's our two surfaces. Um, we grab, you see it, go under inspector. And there's another tab down here. So we click on there, it sees the surfaces. It shows all the surfaces that are stored. We can probably use those later to stake as a DTM. That'll be another video. It shows all the information about that. And once again, all the reports are stored under the archive. So that's a quick overview on how to create extra surfaces from scratch, have the break line, the boundaries, and remove points, and that's how we did the surface to surface. So I hope you found that beneficial, helpful, and we appreciate you guys watching and uh, tuning into our YouTube channel. Thanks again.